Welcome to Lesson 16. Today we're going to look at how adding heat at a constant rate can cause potential and kinetic energy changes in matter. We can track these changes on a heating or cooling curve. When looking at each heating and cooling curves, we want to make sure that we can identify where the potential energy is changing and where the kinetic energy is changing and identify the states of matter, melting point, and boiling point for, for any substance from its phase change diagram. Make sure you follow along and examine this diagram found on your guided notes hand sheet as you complete this table. This area of the table we will not discuss in this video as it will be part of future lesson. A phase change diagram shows the changes as heat is added or removed from a sample at a constant rate. Like if you put a pot of water on the stove and you turned it on to medium and didn't increase or decrease its heat. These are often called time temperature graphs. Temperature or average kinetic energy is always the Y and time or reaction progress is always the X. Here you can see that we have outlined the three major states of matter and the phase changes that occur between them. The first slant of our graph here, we have a solid that is warming up. It must warm up to its melting point before it can change state. When solid is warming, its temperature is increasing, but its potential energy or the position between the particles is the same. Solid particles are in fixed geometric crystal lattice structures. The position of their particles does not change until it reaches its melting point. So the potential energy is constant. Now here in section B we have reached the melting point. Here the temperature is actually constant. Imagine if you had ice and water. As the ice is melting, the water cannot get any warmer until all the ice has melted. So here, the temperature is constant, but our potential energy is increasing as more and more of the particles are changing from the solid phase to the liquid phase. The liquid phase, the particles are more spread out, so they have a higher potential energy. The amount of heat required to melt a solid substance into a liquid substance is called the heat of fusion. In chemistry, melting can also be called fusion. In section C, we have a liquid that is warming to its boiling point. Here, the liquid has a constant potential energy as the particles are still close together but moving past one another. Our kinetic energy or temperature is increasing. Here we have yet another plateau. We can, we can notice on phase change diagrams, plateaus are synonymous with phase changes and potential energy changes. P, P, P. Plateau, phase change, potential energy change. In section D, the phase change is boiling or evaporating. We are changing from a liquid to steam. The steam or water vapor cannot get any hotter until all the liquid is first converted into steam. Finally, we arrive at the gaseous state. Here, the steam is getting even warmer. Notice, for all parts of this graph, only one type of energy changes at a time. Either the potential energy changes at the plateaus or the kinetic energy changes on the slanted portions of the graph. Can you identify the melting point of this substance from its phase change diagram? Here is another phase change diagram but notice as time goes on our temperature of our substance is decreasing. This is called a cooling curve. We begin our cooling curve in the gaseous state. We'll move 
where the kinetic energy or the temperature decreases as the potential energy remains constant. When we move to the plateau, number two, what we'll have is we'll have a potential energy change. But since this graph is decreasing, our potential energy will also be decreasing. So here, our potential energy decreases as our kinetic energy is constant. This is when the gaseous state turns into a liquid. The liquid cannot begin to cool until all the vapor has been converted to liquid. In section three, we have only the liquid state. Here, our kinetic energy is decreasing and our potential energy is constant. In section four, we have a plateau. A plateau is a phase change and potential energy change. Here, our potential energy will decrease as we change from the liquid to the solid state. On this plateau, we have both states of matter. Finally, in section five, we have a decrease in kinetic energy and constant potential energy as our solid is cooling. Try your hand at a few Regents practice questions related to reading heating curves and cooling curves.